magnetic machinery. The operating characteristics of electrical mechanism, apparatus and instrument are greatly influenced by the properties of ferromagnetic material used for their construction. Therefore, magnetic measurement and through knowledge of characteristics of magnetic materials are utmost importance in designing and manufacturing electrical equipment. The principal requirement in magnetic measurement are the measurement of magnetic field strength in air, determination of BH curve and hysteresis loop for soft ferromagnetic material, determination of eddy current and hysteresis loss of soft ferromagnetic material, testing of permanent magnet. The magnetic measurement have some inherent inaccuracy due to which measured value depart. The inaccuracy are due to the following reason. The condition in the magnetic specimen under test are different from those assumed in calculation. Magnetic material are not homogeneous. There is no uniformity between different batches of test specimen even if such batches are on the same composition. Types of test Plastic test These tests are generally employed for determining BH curve and esteris loop of ferromagnetic material. AC testing These tests may be carried out at power, audio and radio frequency. They give information about the eddy current and esteris losses in magnetic material. Steady state test. These are performed to obtain the steady value of flux density existing in the air gap of the magnetic circuit. Plastic test. These tests are determining the flux density in the specimen. Determination of BH curve and plotting ester slope. Measurement of flux density. The flux density inside the specimen can be done by winding a search coil over the specimen. This search coil is called as B coil. This search coil is connected to the plastic galvanometer or flux meter. Let us consider we have to measure the flux density in the ring specimen as shown in the figure. Okay, this is the ring specimen. We are going to measure the flux density, which consists of calibrating coil, magnetizing winding, the ring specimen, and search coil as well as uh, reversing switch, DC supply, etc. The ring specimen is mounted with the magnetic winding which carries a current I. So this magnetic winding is carrying the current I. A search coil of the convenient number of turn is mounted on the specimen. This is a search coil on the specimen as shown. The current through the magnetic coil is reversed and therefore the flux leakage of the search coil change inducing an EMF. Thus, the EMF send a current through the plastic gamblometer causing a deflection. Okay. Magnetic potentiometer. This is a device for measurement of magnetic potential difference between two points. It can be shown that the line integral of a magnetizing force H produced by a coil N concentrated turn carrying a current I. Okay, so this is the specimen NB, magnetic potentiometer, and the current I. Okay, this is a circuital law of magnetic field and form the basic magnetic potentiometer. A magnetic potentiometer may be used to determine the EMF around a closed path or the magnetic potential difference between two points of the magnetic circuit. A magnetic potentiometer consists of one meter long flat and uniform coil made of two or four layer of thin wire wound unidirectional on the strip of flexible non-magnetic material. The coil end are brought out at the middle of the strip as shown and connected to the plastic galvanometer. The magnetic potential difference between the point A and B of the field is measured by placing the end strip of this point and observing through a plastic galvanometer when the flux through the specimen is changed. Determination of BH curve is done by method of reversal. A ring shaped specimen whose dimensions are known is used for this purpose. After demagnetizing, the test is started by setting the magnetizing current in a low test value. 
with the gamma meter key k closed up the ion specimens boss to the reproducible cyclic magnetic state by throwing the reversing switch s back and forward about 20 times key k is now open and the value of the flux corresponding to this value of h is measured by reversing the switch s noting through the gamma meter the value of flux corresponding to this h can be calculated by dividing the flux by the area of the specimen the above procedure is repeated for various value of h up to the maximum test pointing thus the bh curve may be plotted from the measured value of b corresponding to the various value of h okay so this is how the bh curve is plotted and this is the potential divider magnetic winding calibrating coil search coil and specimen so by using this we can able to calibrate the bh curve determination of hysteresis lobe this also done by reverse method this test is done by another number of step but the change in flux density measured at each step in change in maximum value of bm to some lower value but therefore the next step is commenced to the ion specimen is passed through the remainder of the cycle of magnetization back to the flux density thus the cyclic state of the magnetization is preserved so the connection for the method of reversal is shown magnetizing winding searching coil and dc supply and here it will consist of galvanometer okay and this is the hysteresis slope for reversal method